hello, welcome to another video on my channel, today we will be working on this scene. First we will be modeling a soccer ball, and setting up materials in less than 3 minutes. Then we will be doing some advanced shading, and if you are new to the channel, I will tell you how you can create the scene easily. This tutorial is beginners friendly so anyone can follow along. But first if you are new here, then please like and subscribe my YouTube channel, so you can find my upcoming videos easily. Well let's start modeling. Delete the cube, bring an eco sphere in the scene, and reduce subdivisions to 1. Go to edit mode, Control plus B to bevel, press V, to restrict the bevel to only vertices. Point 34 seems good enough. Select any face with 5 vertices, go to select, select similar, area. It will select all the faces with the same number of vertices. Go to the material tab, and give it a black color. Control I, to inverse your selection. And give this a white color. Time to refine our model. Go to edit mode and select all the faces. Go to face and select extrude individual faces. Extrude them out a bit. Press Ctrl T to subdivide the top faces. Now select all the geometry and subdivide 6 times. Go to the modifiers tab and select cast. Value of 0.8 is perfect, that way you also keep a lot of details. Cast is used to give the object a round shape. Shade smooth. Our soccer ball is done, now it's time for advanced shading. We will be creating a rubber material for our soccer ball. I will not be talking during the shading process, because explaining some of the stuff might make this video very long, but you can easily follow all the steps I will be doing.
our soccer ball is now ready to be used in any scene. Now quick tips of how to create the scene. If you want to learn how to create this scene, you have to watch this video, I will give its link above, in the end of this video and also in the description. Grass modeling. Using dirt textures, doing weight painting, and the use of particle system is all discussed while creating this scene. And after watching that video you will easily be able to create this scene, and also will be able to make even better renders than this one. Think of the scene as an exercise for all of you, and I will totally will love to see your renders. Again, if you like the video, then please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Rogue Knight 3 d so you can always find my new upcoming videos easily. Well see you in my next video. Take care till then, happy blending.